Hey everybody, this is David Skarika. So today we're gonna to look at uh, the macro chart being the NASDAQ. And then we're gonna look at three companies uh, that have had news. Uh, one is a FinTech company, the other two are gold and precious metals companies. So let's get right into it here. So the stock chart of the day is the NASDAQ. And what we're looking at here with the NASDAQ is, I'll also show a shorter term chart so we can see this, is um, I do think we are in some kind of short term topping pattern, whether it leads to a longer term bear market, I do not know. But um, if we look at the NASDAQ in 2018, in the middle of the year here, 2015, 2011, it's starting to look similar. All of those were followed by 15, 20% corrections in the market. <clears throat> but the real question is, do we see something like 2020 where the market kind of consolidated then broke out or um, um, the same thing here in 2018, had a small correction, broke out and then had the larger decline. So do we see one more move higher than a larger decline or are we in the midst of uh, topping out? We go look at a three year chart here so we can see it shorter term. You can see the consolidation had in 2019 before this breakout then decline. And um, the same thing happened here this move higher after the move lower in the spring, and then this bigger decline in the fourth quarter. So are we setting up ourselves for one more move or is the NASDAQ just topping out here? I would say if we break about 12,600 on the NASDAQ, which is about a thousand points lower than we are today, that might, might mean we are starting a, a more major bear market or correction. That is the, the 200 day moving average and kind of the support of, of the low earlier in the year. Okay, now to get to our, our, uh, our company uh, charts. Um, a company that uh, we've talked about recently, it's had a nice little move recently, Sonora Gold. Uh, they just announced that they completed the phase three of their drilling program. They're gonna do an updated 43101 technical report for uh, Cerro uh, Caliche. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I am not. Uh, sometimes I can butcher these things. <laughs> so, um, but anyhow, that means that uh, they should have a new resource probably out sometime this summer. Uh, the disclosure is uh, I own Sonoro. I'm a consultant with them, a paid consultant with them, and they are also a sponsor of Stock Chart of the Day. So they just completed, like I said, um, the final nine holes of the phase three of this drilling program, and they should have something out, uh, you know, um, um, later in the year um, as well. So, um, so we'll see what happens there. Inca One just recently announced the closing of a private placement. They are a sponsor of Stock Chart of the Day. It's a company that uh, I've talked about in the past. I know some of you own. Uh, so they just they closed a 40 cent private placement. It was oversubscribed. They raised 613 instead of 500 grand. Um, they actually, actually um, of that 613 uh, or 1.5 million shares, the insiders took down roughly 700,000 shares, nearly half of it. Uh, there's a full warrant of 60 cents good for three years. So Inco One closes its uh, private placement of over $600,000. And um, um, with the insiders taking down a lot, which is usually a positive sign. So then the finally, to end off here, Lynx Global Digital Finance Corporation. It is down a bit today, but um, Lynx basically, like I've, I've talked about in the past, I really think the future of crypto and um, your know, blockchain is more the payment system, you know. Like I, I, I do wires all day long and all, you know, all the time being offshore. And it's, I find it very antiquated. You know, it takes business, few business days for wires to hit, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this sort of thing, um, you know, just can hit overnight. Uh, you know, obviously with the blockchain, uh, using this for B2B. So recently they announced that they took over a bank in the Philippines, but also they have uh, payment platforms in the Philippines, Silimor, or, sorry, Singapore and Australia. And they're going to integrate them all into a unified payment platform. So this means companies can like that use their platform to, for B2B, sending from company to company, and it's like instantaneous payment system. So where I think this, this new technology is going to revolutionize is not actually like, oh, cryptos take over the world. No, it's actually traditional ways of banking. Is that my bank here in the Bahamas can send to your bank in the Philippines or, or Japan or wherever it is. And the money gets there instantaneous or within like 10 minutes or something, rather than that payment system uh, taking, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, the days to get there, et cetera. And it happens quick and goes from bank account to bank account, not having to say, do it through a th third party, like, I don't know, PayPal, right? And then when you do it through PayPal, then, you know, that you have to then put it into your bank account or onto your debit card or whatever it may be. So, uh, they just did an agreement today with a company called uh, Pipit, 
so basically, um, this they have a bunch of cash in, cash out for, uh, 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 facilities, like physical facilities at post office, kiosks, ATMs, etc. And again, it will allow you if you have an account with one of Lynx's uh, institutions, like this bank in the Philippines, you'll be able to go there and send money from one of these things, get money from one of these things, and it can happen like almost instantaneously, right? So they're going to integrate basically their international cash payments uh, platform. So again, this is where I think the kind of future is for um, for fintech. It's not in um, it's not in anything else, you know, it's not in, so sorry, it's not so much cryptos and as investments. This is where I think the traditional banking and our traditional um, uh, ways of moving money are gonna be revolutionized. And I think the companies that can dominate in that will do well. So, okay, so just to, to sum up here, NASDAQ, are we seeing a double top? Are we gonna see some kind of blow off to the top? Um, uh, uh, Sonoro announces uh, the end of the, 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 sorry, the completion of their final phase of drilling. And a new 43-101 resource probably out this summer. Uh, Inca One closes um, a financing uh, um, worth uh, six hundred thirteen thousand dollars, and um, Lynx uh, does an agreement with Pipit to um, to to help their uh, B2B uh, online uh, payment um, uh, uh, system. So I just and again in terms of full disclosure. Sonoro, I own, I'm a consultant with, and our sponsor is a stock chart of the day. Inca One is a sponsor of stock chart of the day. And um, uh, uh, Lynx, I own and is a sponsor of stock chart of the day. So I ho hope you enjoyed this and we'll have another stock chart of the day sometime for you, probably uh, tomorrow.